Well, I don't think March Day re ever really uh, offered a, for example, the Labour Party exactly what it should do. It wasn't that. Would, that was not what it was good at. It was understanding the world and where we are in the world, where the world's at, if you like. And I think there are two questions that uh, that uh, are crucial. One is the enormous shift in power, the centre of gravity of power in the world, from the developed world to the developing world, and in particular, of course, in that context, the rise of China. I mean, this is the biggest change, geopolitical change, in my opinion, for 200 years. And it'll leave the West, and Europe in particular, and of course our own country, in a very different position. So that is the crucial backdrop, I think, to everything. And the second is that, you know, the, the Western financial crisis uh, uh, of 2008 and its aftermath, uh, in my view, changes the parameters of uh, uh, the situation of the West and the argument over economic policy and, in particular, the unchallenged hegemony of neoliberalism since the late 1970s. The most important thing that Marxism today did in the 1980s was hold up reality to the musings of politicians, to the speeches of politicians, to the rhetoric of politicians. And what I think a revived Marxism today, a new Marxism today, a, a relaunched Marxism today would do is to expose us, the political class, to the massive changes that are going on in British society and global society. They would hold up the truth about the changes that are going on and ask us hard questions about how our values can affect that reality and develop it. Firstly, why did Labour lose the last election? What's happened to society? What was going on? Did, was it understood? Secondly, uh, what should be done in order to challenge what's happening? And who's, in, who's involved? What are the issues? And thirdly, when the next general election comes, what is the way to address it? Now, Marxism today was extremely good at looking at these big trends. We are not doing that in the same effective way now, and that's what we need. So we wanted to put together this special edition of PPR to mark 20 years since the last edition of Marxism Today to consider what the legacy and lessons of that iconic magazine was for the Labour Party and the broader left in the 1980s and also to think about what a magazine like Marxism Today would be writing and thinking about if it was facing the challenges of the current moment. Now, in the 1980s, Marxism Today helped the left to be strategic, not tactical, to understand the opposition and address its own weaknesses and to consider how the world was changing and what that meant for left politics. Now, one of the key things that Marxism today would be addressing if it was operating now is how does the left address both the fiscal crisis and the crisis of capitalism? They are the two centrifugal forces shaping the world right now, and any project for social democracy in the modern age would have to take those seriously. If Marxism today was around now, those are the issues it would be addressing.